Hello, everybody. Yay! Fiberglass! Um, you know, I always, like, wanted a Lancer, but, um, I now know I will never build one. Never. Um, so, you start off, you do the strap thing, pretty straightforward. Um, tape it to the wing. Uh... Once you have the wingtip tapes, you drill the holes. Um, I would say pretty straightforward. The other one, uh, you'll see shortly, I had to employ my father because it just was not working. Oh, I left a step out. After you do that, you click on it, you figure out where that back rib is, that last end rib is going to go. Um, some people have uh, time on their hands and they do the whole... Um, what am I looking for? Um, hinge. They do hinges all the way around. Uh, they invert that. They use the rib for the other one and they invert it. Um, th so my fuselage kit is supposed to show up in a week. So it was just time to be done with the wings. 95% um, of the aircraft out there are flying around with ring wing tips that are screwed in. So... I just went with, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, this is the part where I employ my father. Because this wing over here, the the aft wing, it, it just wouldn't line up. The inside edge would line up just fine. But then the outer edge, um, the trailing edge, um, would not line up. For whatever reason, I don't know. And uh, I emailed Vans about it a whole bunch. They said, essentially, uh, do the best that you can. I was super worried about a heavy wing. They said that that's pretty much not going to happen. Uh, these wingtips deform in flight. So there's like a... They're not expecting it to be 1,000% accurate. I got it so close that like I don't even think that you'll be able to... like no one nobody's eyeball will be able to tell it's probably about a millimeter and a half off if you put a straight edge from the aileron to the wingtip so it's fine it's marginal moving on but uh sometimes those little details can really drive me nuts um i did put the vor antenna there you can see me riveting the vor antenna in and now i'm fiberglassing it in um it's pretty straightforward. I have some pictures of it coming up, but um, yeah, not a huge deal. I have yet to connect the coax. I am dreading that, so I just pretty much put it off. Um, here I'm cutting the glass out, and if you look, um, I have a short on it too that may be uh, that's a better description and I'll link to that up top but um, yeah I found that you needed to cut in a weirder place than what I initially thought I would you can see there I cut more towards the top than I did the bottom of the original piece here's the uh, VOR antenna and then the next one right here is me starting to glass it in. It's just one strip there and then one strip off to the left-hand side that you can't quite see as of yet. And there it is finished. You see that second strip that I glassed in. Let it dry, peel the tape off. It's good to go because it's also riveted on the front edge there. Um, but yeah, going back to the, the plexiglass, I found that you really needed to go further towards the back of it. Essentially where you cut it in half, you needed to go closer to that. You do want to watch though because there is some, uh, the closer you get to the middle, there's some kind of uh, graining in the glass to where it's not crystal clear. So I had to find a happy medium between going almost to where I cut it in half to um, not quite there. Again, um, I would go to the linked video because it, it gives a better description as to why it necessitated me using the more 
backward part or the more aft part of the plexiglass there. I uh, hooked up the fly LEDs, put them to a 9 volt battery just to make sure. Because the last thing you want to do is get those put in and then they don't work. I did um I did opt for the carpet tape on the back of the fly LED boards because um that's what Paul said to do and yeah, like it's not moving. And as he said, he has 900 some odd hours on his RV10 with the same boards. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's um, it's nice. It's a real smooth kind of look to it. I love it. I was apprehensive, but it is totally the way to go. Enjoy the light show, and I'll see you in the next one.